there are five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. Different senses send messages to different parts of our brain. And this is how we interact with the world around us. But these senses are complex and fragile, especially our sense of sight. About 285 million people around the world have problems with their sight. Around 39 million are blind, and around 246 million are partially sighted. This presents obvious difficulties, although many of these difficulties have been overcome. Louis Braille lost his sight when he was a young boy. Unusually for the time, his parents still encouraged him to go to school. He refused to let his blindness limit him. And as a young man, he invented a system of letters that he could read by touch. It was a huge success and people still use Braille today. Helen Keller was both deaf and blind, but she insisted on learning to communicate with other people. As an adult, she became a famous author, political activist and lecturer, often saying her philosophy was that the world was full of suffering, but it was also full of overcoming. There are around 400,000 blind or partially sighted people in the UK. Recently, many of these people were asked what the biggest problem they faced was. Most answered, mobility. In fact, almost 200,000 people admitted never going out alone or leaving the house without assistance. But many people mentioned that they could, with help from guide dogs. In Britain, 51% of households have a pet and 24% have a dog. So there are around 8.1 million dogs in the country. They are very intelligent animals. And for centuries, people have trained them to work or simply to be well behaved. But it wasn't until the early 20th century that a few people suggested training dogs to guide blind or partially sighted people. The Guide Dogs for the Blind Association is a British charitable organisation founded in 1931. They have partnered around 30,000 people with dogs and today there are 4,800 blind and partially sighted people with guide dogs provided by the association. They breed 1,300 puppies every year. Volunteers offer to train these puppies to become guide dogs, teaching them to guide people and to avoid obstacles. They also take the dogs outside, so they get used to busy streets and heavy traffic. Training a guide dog takes around two years, and it isn't cheap. It costs almost £50,000 to train and look after a guide dog. But it's worth it, and once the dog is ready, the organisation matches it with an owner. Trained dogs can work as guides until they are around 10 years old, but many stay with their owners longer as pets. They can make a huge difference to people's lives. They don't just guide the way, they help people to become more independent and to grow in confidence. And, as any dog owner knows, they are fantastic companions.